Hi. Have you ever wondered why some types of metastasis would calcify? We see a list like this frequently, and for some of these listed calcified metastasis, like those coming from the bone or from a cartilaginous forming mass, it's not surprising why they would form calcified metastasis. But today, let us cover or answer why a certain type of adenocarcinoma, that is the mucinous adenocarcinoma, would tend to have tumoral calcification. This is a drawing of the intestinal lining. Look at the blue structures here. This blue structures is the mucus which forms the protective barrier. This protective barrier would um, impede the access of bacteria here from the lumen accessing the epithelial cells. Now this mucus comes from mucin and this mucin comes from the goblet cells. This goblet cells gets its name from its shape. Now mucin is stored within the cells and that's why it's called the intracytoplastic mucin. And when they're inside the cell, they're stored inside the secretory vesicles. Here's another picture. See here the vesicles inside the cell? They have mucin within them. This mucin has a negative charge. <clears throat> to give this negatively charged mucin packed together, there must be something of a positive charge surrounding them. This positive charge surrounding them are the intracellular calcium. So to repeat, high amounts of calcium keeps the negatively charged mucin closely packed together within the goblet cell. So when this lining of the colon would have a cancer or have an uncontrolled growth, a certain type of adenocarcinoma would have a whole lot of extracellular mucin. <clears throat> when this extracellular mucin, here in pink, is so abundant, making it more than, or comprising more than 50% of the tumor, it is called the mucinous adenocarcinoma. When there is abundant mucin, there is also an abundant or a large amount of calcium. And this can explain why tumoral calcifications are present. Take a look at this picture. Tumor with a tumoral calcification. On the other hand, if the abundant mucin is intracellular, okay, intracellular here, the mucin would push the nucleus of the cells aside, creating this pattern or this appearance of a signet ring appearance. So this tumor with abundant intracellular mucin is called the signet ring adenocarcinoma. Now because goblet cells are found in respiratory and intestinal lining, it is no surprise that mucinous adenocarcinomas can also be found in lung cancers. So the mucin produced by the cancer cells can be expelled as sputum. So that answers our question on why mucinous adenocarcinoma would calcify. Here are the references for those of you who want to do further reading. Thank you very much for listening.